Okay, so for today's vlog, we are going to share our summer homeschooling plans. So the kids are technically done with school, and Nyla's finished all of her workbooks. And Joel B, I got his workbooks a few months ago, so of course he's got more, and he'll probably continue to do some worksheets throughout summer. So our plans are, as far as what kind of work they're gonna do, is I'm gonna have them do, for sure, teaching textbooks. They're still doing at least a lesson a day, and then they'll still do their worksheets at least like a page from each each workbook. Um, Jolby's doing the master book still and then Nyla will do she's done with her master book so she will just be doing I'm gonna get them we're actually at Barnes and Noble in the parking lot right now and so we're gonna get them some summer brain quest workbooks I love these he had them for last year they didn't finish them but it's a cute little kind of game workbook that they get to do and go through and it kind of has a bunch of subjects together so I'm pretty sure Barnes & Noble has them I normally get them off Amazon but I wanted to kind of quickly get them so um, I'll kind of show what the work what the workbooks look like but it's where they you get it for the next grade so it's like from fourth grade getting ready for fifth grade will be for Nyla and Jolby will be the second grade getting ready for third grade workbook and then I think I'm just going to get them a few reading books we have their literati box coming I think next week so they'll have a lot of books coming but it's always fun to, to grab a, a book at the bookstore so so yeah I think that's pretty much their plans just doing some worksheets for master books for Jolby his summer brain quest book and then teaching textbooks I think is probably enough anyways um, and they get through it pretty quickly so it's not like their day is full of school um, so and then Nyla will be just doing teaching textbooks and the summer brain quest book and I'll probably look for some fun stem type games for them to kind of do together um, but that's pretty much, pretty much the plan. So we're going to go in and get some of their books and probably grab some Starbucks. Yeah. Monkey okay? You okay, Monkey? Yeah. So windy. I know. All right, come here. Let me hold the little man. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's go. I think probably upstairs. You ready? Need help? Yeah. The workbooks? Okay. So we need the summer brain quest. These are just brain quest. So you see this? Me. You're four no, and five. five. So grab yeah. this one. This one's for Nyla. Jolby is going to be and two and three. And then, let me see it. And then, yeah, Jolby needs two, the two, two and three. Where is the two? Here you yeah. go. Found it? Yeah. yeah that's two. two and Summer three. Summer Rivo. That's a Kumon one. That's a different brand. Yeah. Right here. This one is, though. Oh. I, I got blue. What do you I see? got space. Wait, is this the one they got yeah. last time? They're all kind of the same concept with the little yeah. things. I feel like this is one to see. Um, I don't know. I didn't look at the Kumon one. I like Kumon. Yeah, I like this. Summer right review and prep. Yeah, I just like those because it kind of feels a little bit more fun for summer. Okay. What are you doing? Look how thick this is. Holy moly. I hope that's pink for you. Holy moly. Grade five. Macaroni. Well, it wouldn't be a bad idea. I wonder how much it is. Probably a lot. 20 bucks? That's not too bad for... Right about geranium. That's kind of cool, though. 
I may have to maybe look into getting this for you. Complete curriculum, it's so big. Handwriting. I don't know if this is something you need to work on your curse. Although we have your, we haven't been doing your cursive book. You should probably get back to that, huh? I completely forgot and that was one thing that you need to work on. So here's the brain quest for like your guys' grades. Uh, eight to nine. Grade eight to three. Nine. That'd be Joby. Yay! And there's just like eight to nine. There's just questions on here. A blue one. A blue one. It's blue fun one. to be smart. See? Mm. <laughs> Makes life a little bit easier when you're when you're smart. <laughs> He's Nyla. They're like comic book style. We have all these. I feel like you had one. I have this. These are good books. Cute. Oh, here's one Joel me. Oh, Nyla. You might like these, too. These classic starts. Alice in Wonderland. When can I see that movie again? I don't know. They have all the good stories. Anne of Green Gables. They have Black, Black Beauty. Oh, they might. I, they used to. I'll have to look for it, though. These are all good. No yeah. color. I really like the Alcatraz no color. Escape. This sounds cool. Do you like mystery books, Nyla? Yeah. I don't think you know what Alcatraz is, huh? I think we're in. Let's go to Jolby's section first, Nyla. Or you can look, actually, if you want, okay? I'd be all up for the Geronimo books for you, buddy. Hmm? I can give Jolby some bright I don't think you have very many. I probably have like two. Yeah. Do you want a Geronimo book? No? You don't know? Um, I think you probably want this one. You got it? Mary Poppins Returns. Yeah, that's And then the other one I think is, yeah. Is that the one? Yeah. Okay. All right, but you can sit down if you want to look and see which one you want the best. Okay. Is there any other one you want to double check and make sure? There's, look at this, Wish Upon a Sleepover. <laughs> Five Misfits, One Magical Wish. That's cute. I'm going to look through all of these. Yeah, look and see which one's the best. Huh? It's okay, just sit straight up. <laughs> He's flying off. Flying. See, those ones are good ones, too. And they got text. I really yeah, want to do the house, the yeah. hotel. Or if you want, buddy, read the back of the book. That'll tell you about what's the what it's going to be about. Like Nyla is reading it. This one, these two sound really good. Those ones sound really good. Oh, those are the winners. Yeah. Cool. These are good ones. I like these. And I'm yeah, still reading. Mm hmm. This one. That was last place. <laughs> Which one? Rumble Jungle. And there's so many other that ones. That was the one that had this. I'm surprised you didn't want the Hawaiian heist for a summer. It, it was the one that. Oh, they had that. Okay. Does that one sound pretty good? Yeah. Yeah. So which ones do you want to do? No, no, no. Only two. I'm telling you what I would pick. I would pick. I would pick these two. You're like, why Matilda? We have that on the TV. I know. There's two babies. Is there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. one and then two. Yeah, they might actually change it a little bit, so yeah. which is kind of nice because it's not the same exact fantasy. There's so there's many cool books. Two babies here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it might be a more interesting, different story. What's Oh, I know there two cribs. Yeah, I don't want them dropping the books. I got don't it. drop the book. <laughs> Here, so one for you. Bookmarks are in several bags. I mean, books. Okay. One for Joby. You got it? You guys put them on? You got your book bag? <laughs> Alright, this way though. 
It's too big for you. Uh, yeah. Let's take a picture with our drinks. Well, let's get out of this. This is like super dark over here. Yeah. Like some things you bet you are not totally it there. Yeah. Here. Daddy's home. <laughs> um, let me see. Yeah, put your name. Summer oh, Brain Quest. So do that and then we'll probably do this so it goes through your quest. Your quest is to sticker as many paths on the map as possible to reach the final destination by the end of summer to become an official summer brainiac. <laughs> this is what it comes with. Your achievement stickers. 100% sticker. What else do we got? This is the setup, how to play. So if you need to read this stuff. Forks in your path. It tells you about the forks. What are the forks? I don't know. You can reach oh, a like fork. This. These are called forks? Yeah. Okay. Oh. You, you guys didn't know that? I was no. expecting an actual fork. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Same. Outside quest. A fork in the road means like there's two ways to go. Oh. Uh, you're so smart. Like if there's a fork, fork in the road. That's what that means. I never knew what that meant. A fork in the road. I heard that before. That's what it means? Oh my god. Yeah! I never knew what that meant. Okay, there's bonuses. You complete a bonus question. You earn an achievement sticker. Subject completion. 100% sticker. Okay, now you're on level one. Yep. So... These two yeah, let's start. Let's start with these two and see where you're at, and then that way you can get in some reading. And let's do these two, and then you can go change for dance. Okay. And then you can do some reading. See how that goes. Okay. Reading. Oh yeah. We just bought you books. <laughs> you dare complain about reading? Jeez. <laughs> I can't wait. We're in school. Come and come and come here. Uh, mm. No, the lights went out. The lights went out. I think my ghost turned it out. That's cool. Yeah. Other guys like, but, but, I didn't turn them off. And then he's like, no, okay. if you did, then who did? Yeah. The ghost. The ghost. Yeah. That's cool. He's a okay. ghost. Ooh, their eyeballs glow. Who did? Who did? Who did? Who did? Who did? Okay, so here are the books that the kids ended up getting today at Barnes and Noble. Let me see, these are out of order. Um, so these are Nyla's. So these are the ones Jolby picked out, and I was so happy I convinced him to get this Geronimo Stilton books. I love these. They're so good. Um. And I think they are, yeah, grade four reading level, which is perfect for him. Appeals to second and fourth graders, so that's perfect. And I just love how, because he loves kind of just more interesting and kind of these more interactive books. So I just love how they always show like the characters. I think it just helps them visualize. And I think he's such a visual person and loves to really think about things in his mind and so I love just even the little you know the font being all different and it kind of really emphasizes different words and the pictures are always fun and it helps kids really kind of visualize or really kind of put the, the story in their mind and visually helps them a ton and that's totally him so I got one of these and they have really nice, nice pictures and stuff in here that helps but there's also just enough reading and good um, tougher words in here and gives them a better vocabulary so he got this one underwater planet he got this one the hotel is haunted and I think he already read this book we just got it this morning or this afternoon so that's how quickly you can go through books when they're a little bit more interesting and then here's his summer brain quest workbook he's getting ready for third grade and so it just goes through kind of like a board game and it goes through kind of all the 
the, the different way to, to do the book. I'll start on level one and it just gives really kind of fun and exciting little pages for them. And it'll go through the different subjects and we got earth events, even and odd. So it just kind of keeps flipping between different subjects and just kind of fun little things for them. This is level one complete and I believe you'll put like a sticker here. And then, so yeah, it just is a really fun little book for them. And I believe, yeah, in the very back they have the actual game board. And then the stickers are in here for them too. So just a really, and here's the stickers. Really kind of fun, fun book for summer, I think. So all the sticker board, board game pieces. And the answers are in the back. So that's Jolby's. And then Nyla picked out this Mary Poppins book, which is really cute. It's a good chapter book for her. And then this one I thought was cute for her, this Wish Upon a Sleepover. And so that's her other chapter book for her. And then the same thing with her. She's getting ready for fifth grade. And then the same thing, we just have fun activities for them. And you complete the level, her board, her stickers and her board games in the back. And just really fun, there's an answer key. Just makes it, yeah, a little more, more fun to do schoolwork during summer break. So like I said, they're gonna, continue to do at least I think a page a day in here and then they'll do teaching textbooks for math just because we already have that going and then probably um, cursive writing book and then Jolby will have some worksheets in his master books. Are many when the old ones gone under the 